what's going on world of youtube this is a new breed coming at you again now this video is a video that could literally save your butt in a shtf situation i'm going to be showing you how to identify poison ivy poison oak and poison sumac i'll also be giving you natural remedies that you could find around in a grid down situation just to take care of that in case you come in contact with it nothing worse than having an itchy rear end or an itchy body in a shtf situation so bear with me here we go now first up is poison ivy generally if you remember leaves of three let it be it kind of helps out but this is how you identify of course the three leaves pointy tips and jagged edges to the leaves, five petal flowers, glossy at the top. They also produce a white or cream colored berry. They have no thorns or reddish stem, and the middle leaf is always longer on the stem. That's something you'll notice, but these things actually change color depending on the season. Now, when you catch these in the different seasons, just remember, they may look different, the colors may be beautiful, and they may even have flowers and berries on them. But that doesn't change the fact it's still poison ivy. So let's go ahead and go next up at bat, we're going to jump on poison oak. Now like having poison ivy, that is on the left, we also have poison oak. This one is also told by the same general tales. This one will have three leaves. One generally up at the top, very glossy. Now the major difference is, is the shape of the leaf. And also this one produces a tan berry. So keep notice for that also. Now also it can grow in leaves of five and seven. So just beware if you notice the leaf up top and the two leaves sprouting out the sides. Now the last of the three is poison sumac. This one, being on the far right, looks different from poison ivy and poison oak, but nonetheless, it still will make you just as itchy as the other two, so beware of this one also. Now, just like the other two, as it changes in seasons, it gets a beautiful color. Once again, nonetheless toxic. This one, same three leaf pattern but you'll notice this one can come in up to 13 leaves. So if you see it, just stay away if you can't properly identify because there are numerous lookalikes. So just be very careful. Also, none of the three can be burned. The oils that are submitted are extremely toxic and hazardous to humans. Now, this is my disclaimer. I am not a doctor, nor do I play one on TV. So, this is not medical advice and not to be taken for medical advice. Just my disclaimer. Now, these are a couple of the remedies that you can find around. Of course, aloe vera and aloe vera gels. I'll get into the significance of the aloe vera plant in a later video. We have calendula oil, magnesium oil baths, apple cider vinegar, which is an essential, castor oil, and one that we remember from back in the day, the oatmeal paste or the oatmeal bath. Now, you can start off with baking soda paste if you have it around. There are a couple different herbal compresses that you can make and use with tinctures. Turmeric and lemon juice. Banana peels, not the whole banana, but if you rub the peel on it, it'll make it stop itching. You can use Himalayan sea salt or even watermelon rind. Now there's burdock root tea. If you make the tea and use the bag, it definitely helps out. So does jewel weed and something back in the day they had always around the house, witch hazel. Now these are just a few of the natural remedies. If you know any more, post them down in the comments section. I'd like to hear. Now these are just tips for if you're ever out camping, you're in the woods, or worst case scenario, a grid down situation. If you're in hiding, be sure you don't hide in any of these three. Know how to properly identify them by the season, the color change, 
and just know what you're dealing with. And also, worst case scenario, this will save your butt. If you're ever out in the wilderness and of course have to handle your business, you never want to grab these three to clean up after yourself. So, let's be honest, in a stuff hit the fan situation, common commodities like toilet paper will run out. So be very careful what you grab, because ultimately, this lesson could really save your butt. So, y'all enjoy and have a wonderful evening. Hopefully you learn something, or hopefully you remember if anything ever happens. And if you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course subscribe. And by the way, don't forget to click the bell icon to get informed on all my upcoming videos.